Okay, people. So back in 2020, right? Shadow release scare package, an anthology, which you know I quite enjoyed, right? Um, there were some decent uh stories on there. Um and at the end of last year, Scare Patchy look, Scare Package 2 hit the platform. So again, this was made up of different segments, right? So we have Scare Package, which well, Scare Package 2, Rad Chad's Revenge, which is the framing device. And then we've got things like um Welcome to the 90s. Uh, which is directed by Andrea Barreto, um, written by Bar Barreto as well. Uh, then there is um, The Night He Came Back Again, right? Part two, The Night She Came Back which is directed by Anthony Cousins, um, written by Ryan Shadadelli, um, John Carrasco, uh, da -da 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 -dum, and Anthony Cousins. There is um, Special Edition, which is directed by Jed Shepard, uh, who also wrote that. And um, We're So Dead, which is directed by Rochelle Wiggins. Um, and that was written by Carmen Burns and Aaron B. Kuntz. All right, and... Um, Scare Package 2, Rad Chad Revenge, is directed by Aaron B. Coots. And um, also written by Coots and Cameron Burns. Okay, so uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, there's, there's so many different segments. There are so many different people on this, but producing... These is Tim Wilrich, uh, Helen Tuck, Sean Talley, Ashley Schneed, uh, Nicole Roos, Aaron B. Kuntz, Alex Uting, um, Anthony Cousins, Cameron Burns, um, executive producing, we've got Sub. Bastian Basil, um, Michael Galavan, Trevor Henderson, and Rochelle Wiggins. Co producing is Adam Watts, Pharrell Rose, um, and do, 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 do. Jeremy King is an o associate producer. Alex Curvoro handles the music. Andrew Scott Bard, Chris Bland, Sirian Craig and Robert Patrick Stern are on cinematography. Editing, we've got John Cole, Sirian Craig, Alex Uting, Abby Kilifa. Aaron B. Kuntz and Richard Lupasson. Production design is Rochelle Wiggins, Jason Dean Thomas, Catelyn Shelby, Anthony Neal, and Joshua Miller. Art direction, James Woodley, Madeline Marcom, Fingal Green, and Sam Deans. Set decoration, Tom Ribbit. Carly Dirtsteller, Tilda Boehm Carter, and Mary C. Bruce, with costume design Alexi Kotokuska, 
and Jolene Richardson. Now, our cast, again, so many just different people. Um, Jeremy King is Chad Buckley. Um, Jesse is played by Zoe Graham. Sam is played by Byron Brown. Rick, Rick Summers. Kelly Marooney is Miss Kaposki. Um, Kimmy is played by Sharika Jarape. Dwight is Graham Skipper. Um, Moira is played by Maria Olsen. Um, Laurie is played by Alison Sugimoto. Kirk is played by Kirk C. Johnson. Bert is played by Bruce Davis. Claire Jennifer Rader. Buffy Steffi Barkley. Um, Nancy Sharonina Shodorons. Ginny Luxie Banner. Sally is played by Elizabeth Trial. Daisy Chelsea Grant. Scotty. Or is in there. Will is played by Jack Hartwig. Um, yeah, there's I mean, there's a load of different people, people, and it's you know, IMBD is a bit of a mess the way it's all laid out. So, yeah, that's all we got. Um, now the gist is when horror guru Rad Chad Buckley funeral turns into an elaborate series of hilarious death traps the guests must band together and use the rules of horror to survive the bloody game right now as i said look i i enjoyed the first one um one of my favorite segments on the first one was girls night out of body from courtney and hillary adjujar unfortunately the sisters on on this and i think this it it feels a bit like the scream you know sequels and the final destination sequels where it tries to so hard to outdo the first one right and then you've got things like um not another scary movie which was a spoof of scary movie which is a spoof of horror films, right? And it's just like, you're spoofing something that was already spoofing. What are we doing here? And you get that kind of sense with this, well, for me anyway, right? There was a lot of stuff that just was just really silly and just didn't really seem to fit together. Now, with the framing device of the funeral, right? This one, it does tie in the different segments well into, you know, the, the main story. Probably a little bit tighter than the first one. But, yeah, a, a lot of the, the, the little stories doesn't, don't necessarily make sense. I think my favorites out of those definitely had to be um, We're So Dead, which seemed to be a little kind of a Stranger Things play, right? I think, anyway, I don't watch a lot of horror films, people. Um, so I don't, I might not pick up on all the references, you know what I mean? Like stuff like Halloween and, you know, you can get. Some of the, the, the more niche stuff I have no clue about. But yeah, We're So Dead and Welcome to the 90s were my favorite segments of this. And I think worked worked very well. The others, like the night he came back again, it just felt very over the top. And, you know, they're throwing in different, like, the, a, a big problem is, is, you know, I have a lot of times with films is when you throw in that the deuce machina, right? The MacGuffins and all of that. 
it can work if done very well but a lot of times you're just like okay so you know you're giving people all of these clues and then you're just throwing in this random thing to go ah that's actually what's happening here and there was so much of that in some of these stories where you're just like i mean how am i following this right is the story makes no sense it's not following any kind of guidelines or you know logic here and then you're just going in this completely different direction saying this is what the thing is right we're having these like there's a bit with a chains and a guy in his skin and you're just like wait what is happening here because especially when we have other parts of the film where people you know let's say just lose their skin and then they're dead so you're just you're just very baffled there's a thing with you know acidic throw up which if that's the case everyone's dead right because the throw up will be coming through you it's coming through you so it would have burned all your insides you'd be dead right but people are throwing up on each other and killing people but you're just like look after the first you get what's happening so you would turn all you have to do is turn your head turn away from people like that's thing that made no sense and there's a lot of that there is a lot of that, like uh, a lot of very hammed up acting, right? Which I'm assuming was um, the ask, right? But it just doesn't always work. Doesn't always work. And then you have these storylines where it's just like, ah, this is a thing. And you're like, that makes no sense. Right, and they try and go, oh, and they show you these bits and be like, look, see, this is what, I, and you're just like, it still makes no sense. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, uh, like in the first one, there was more stories that I enjoyed, right? That worked. So the overall thing, you can be like, yeah, you know, it's not all perfect, but I, yeah, I, I say I walked away enjoyed right this one uh, yeah I, I just couldn't say that unfortunately I couldn't say that and the way it ends it's definitely been left for a potential third film you know and like Scream, like uh, Final Destination and Scary Movie and all of that kind of stuff yeah, you get the sense that they probably want this to be a franchise like that. I Yeah, I just think stronger stories, hopefully, next time around, you know? But who knows? We will see what happens. You know, I look, if you're a fan of, you know, the, these anthology series and stuff like that, yeah, th this will probably be fine you'll probably get along with it and it will you know like i think uh is it vhs 90 rust i think it was 94 was the last one or was it 99 it was the last vhs one anyway you know for me that one yes it was 99 right I think if you really enjoyed that, then Scare Package 2, you'll be cool with, you know? That's what I, I feel is along those lines. So, yes, if you enjoyed VHS 99, Scare Package 2 will be all you. Be all you. I really enjoyed that one. And, yeah, this one didn't, didn't really work for me. There's definitely some good parts to it, you know? As I said, look. We're so dead and welcome to the 90s. I very much enjoyed those two, you know? So, um, yeah, it's on Shudder now, people. So, yeah, you can have a look and see which ones work for you, you know? So, uh, happy watching.